Okay, get in here and get rid of this quick. Oh, I don't have any stamina. Okay. No! It's an elite! Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. A little thing of blood and bone, I thought. I should have snapped you like a twig. Now I wither and die. Let the great tree have me. Yeah, this guy, uh, 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 what's his name? Elder's head keeps talking to me. It's kind of creepy. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm the bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to set out and see if we can find ourselves a swamp that we can get some iron in and hopefully not get killed in. Uh, but it is almost night time, so I'm going to actually wait. Uh... I think it's almost night time. Yeah, maybe. It's getting on in the day anyways. Uh, so we might wait until the morning before we set out. Uh, anyway, I've got uh, the po uh, some more poison resistance cooking up in here. And I got the medium healing uh, mead cooking up in there. And I've got carrots like you wouldn't believe. So, let's see, is it this one? Yeah. This chest is completely full of carrots. This one is half full of carrots. And then I even have more carrots. <laughs> so we have lots of carrots. I haven't even replanted them yet uh, for the moment just because I have so many of them. Plus I have 107 more seeds. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of backing off on those just a little bit. I do have the turnips uh, planted here that we found in the last episode, uh, but they're about an hour away before they're ready to go. And uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to just leave the yellow mushrooms there for the moment and let them continue on. Um, there isn't really a whole lot else for us to, to do around here, so um, I guess what we could maybe do is set out and see if we can at least get a, across the water and then just set up a portal to come back home. Um, Let's see, I got, yeah, so I've got all the stuff to make the portal, and this is the one we would connect to, which is OG Home. I don't necessarily need this portal anymore. Um, just trying to think if I want to do anything about that. No, I think, I think I'll wait till later. Let's grab some honey in here. Oh, by the way... I just want to point something out, and I I did point this out in the last video, in the video itself with some some text, but yeah, we um, this server our server is set to hard difficulty, and I, I knew it that John was going to do that because he had mentioned it in the Discord. I just forgot, <laughs> and so that's part of why it took me a million years to kill Elder in the last episode, and also why I got absolutely annihilated by that elite uh, a couple of elite droggers because you know in with normal difficulty settings where we're currently at you know with upgraded bronze armor we should be able to kill an elite dragger i mean i'm not saying they're easy but we should be able to do it and you know i got i got killed twice twice three times twice yeah twice by by one well actually three times in total um and so, yeah, our, our difficulty is set to hard, um, the hard difficulty setting. So that is why I'm struggling <laughs> with killing these guys. Uh, but I just want you guys to know that. So it's not just me, you know, being a noob. I mean, I've still made some dumb decisions. I'm not saying I haven't, but part, in part, it's just because the game's harder. You know, the enemies are harder to kill. So anyway, I wanted to clear that up. And uh, yeah, so... I think, I mean, I guess as long as we don't run into a fucking storm, we might, we could probably just set out. Uh, so we got a pretty decent amount of food. Uh, we got our pick. Are you complaining again? Oh, I think that's, actually, I think you pronounce this Eichther. I've been calling him an Ekther, but I think it's Eichther. I think he's been whining too. Anyway, yeah, quit your belly aching. You're dead, and there's nothing you can do about it, so so shut up. 
<laughs> anyway, all right. Yeah, let's let's just go ahead and, and set sail. Hopefully, I don't regret this. I mean, I don't know. Is the weather any different at night than it is in the morning? A storm could come at any point in time, so... What we're going to do is we're going to sail north. Um, because, you know, we checked... We checked over by Elder in the last episode and found two sunken two, uh, sunken crypts. Both have been mined out. Well, presumably mined out. Uh, plus, John told me that that had happened anyways. And he also told me he's pretty sure that the swamp that's to the northwest of us has also been mined out. Um, and so that's that's this swamp up here. Uh, when, we went, when we went on that long... A walkabout a few episodes ago. I did find a swamp, but he's pretty sure that that one's been hit too, which would make sense because it's on the same, you know, continent as, as where we're at. So he said they pretty much haven't been due north, so any lands we find due north are probably untouched. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head out and go north. Hopefully we don't run into any sea serpents or nasty storms or anything like that. Of course, I don't think I think storms can capsize the carve. I don't think so. Hope not. <laughs> so yeah, let's head north. There is some land over here. Um, and that particular coast is a black forest. But I think what I'd like to do is um, just continue sailing until we spot some swamp you know, from from sea, rather than try and go across land to find it. I think that's one of those giant sea turtle things. They've got uh, they've got a resource on them too. That I think it's the barnacles that we need at some point. But I'm not going to jump off at night in a storm and try and get them. All right, so we are now uh, along the coastline of a, a new, uh, this new island here. And I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of follow the coastline and see if we can spot some swamp. In fact, I already see some swamp right in front of us as soon as I said that because I saw the, the glowing um, stuff on the trees. Okay, so let's um greet this shaman here. Everybody wants to tangle. Let's, let's get rid of him first. going to do is we're just going to set down our uh, set down the portal and go back home and we'll come back here tomorrow sounds like someone else is coming after us we might want to Put the portal up on a maybe up on that stone or something just to keep these guys from messing with it. Okay. Let's get a little bit of wood here. Oh shit. I didn't even know you were there. Go in you rant. So yeah, why don't we Let's just set up a very small outpost right on the edge of the swamp here. And then that'll kind of be our launching point. 
And we might, you know, move things a little bit later on. I've had a few of you ask me in the comments recently about mods and stuff. Um, I have uh, my mod list in the description of each one of these videos. And uh, we get them from from the Thunder Store. Just making sure there's like no trolls or anything around. Uh, we get them from the Thunder Store and use uh, R2 Mod Men to uh, install them for anybody that's interested. All right, I'm going to just level a little bit of spot here. This will trim this back a little because I think what I'm going to do is just put a real small palisade up around the uh, the gate, uh, portal thingy. Yeah, that. All right, let's go to miscellaneous. Set you up right about here and name you OG Home. Okay, uh, let's go back on through and just repair, repair, refresh, repair, refresh, and rest a buff. All right, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to Northern, uh, well, no, actually, let's not make this complicated. Let's just do in swamp for now. And then, um, cause I don't necessarily have a reason need, you know, have a reason to go back down to the elder now. Um, but if I do, you know, I can sail. I can always sail down there and, and grab that portal. So that way, if we decide to put another portal down closer to, uh, like a mine, then we we already have this one set. Let's also make sure we have. Uh, oh, I want that. Uh, the stuff to do that again. Uh, so we're going to need tin dwarf eyes, and I'm going to need to... Uh, yeah, looks like I'm going to need to go cut some hardwood. So I'm going to put a few things away, and then I'll go do that, and I'll meet you guys back over there. All right, guys. Let's get this party started here. So we are looking for... Um, I'm not picking carrot seeds. <laughs> I've got tons of carrots. Um, yeah, we're looking for a sunken crypt. Uh, we got our key, right? Yeah. So we can start getting iron. And we're going to avoid elite draugers. Yes, we are. Uh, okay. We have three poison resists. Oh, shite. Okay. Where are you going? Okay, both of you guys are normal driver, right? Okay. Let's see if we can recover our shit. Since it was so close to the portal. I figured we'd try and nab it without putting new equipment on, because then I gotta shuffle all the inventory. Oh god, he's like right there. Unbelievable. Still don't know why I have two tombstones. Okay. 
That's probably... I wonder if that has something to do with one of our mods, maybe, or something. I don't know. This is downright embarrassing, man. That's all I gotta say about it. shit get rid of that shit I might keep that stuff just to make some torches refood up and be more careful that's what we got to do okay let's try this again deja vu fucking around. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> nice. The fire got him. Oh, man. I hope this isn't, like, one of those tiny little Swamp biomes on the edge with nothing nothing else to it. Oh shit. There's another one too. Oh shit, he's an elite! Run! I didn't realize he was an elite. We put the hurt on him pretty good. Ah, oh, shit! Close the hurt! Alright. Can we... Cheesy McSqueezy him? Trying to get up on my palisades. There we go. Oh, yeah. Help out, little gray dwarf. Huzzah! Yes! We finally got revenge on one of the elite draugers. We kind of cheesed it, but you know what? I'm alive. He's not. That's all that matters. Whew. We even had help from a, a gray dwarf or three. Thank you for your, your service, sir. Now die. See, I told you we could kill those guys. It just took some, some strategy. <laughs> All right, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Uh, keep the <coughs> rest of it for now. Okay, let's go back into the swamp again. Three skeletons. What is there, like a freaking tomb around here or something? I mean, like, black forest tomb? Please tell me you are not an elite. No, you're not. You're just a normal. Okay. all over the place. Alright, let's pop one of these. Oh, that's easy to get. Right down there for the taken. Okay, another Draugr. Normal Draugr. And I am vibrating. Yeah. 
There's an archer draugr. Oh, he's an elite archer draugr. Hmm. I don't know. This might not have been my, a smart move. Nope, it wasn't. It wasn't a smart move. I get one point for killing an elite dragger, and I get minus 10 points for being stupid and taking on another one right after that. And now our shit's even further into the forest. Serves me right. Absolutely serves me right. All right, I don't want to go all the way into there with no food at all. So let's just take one of these, one of those, and one of those, and then we'll, we'll uh, puke it up once we get to our stuff. I'm just going to see if we can ninja to it again. I guess we're not that far into the forest. Question, though, is, is that archer still around, or did he go back to where he was? Stay sneaky, sneak, sneak. I hate this so much. I don't know if something's coming after me or what. If that archer's drawing a beat on us, we're already dead. fuck out of here. All right, guys. Um, I actually need to take off in real life. Um, so I'm just going to cut the camera here and... Oh, those are just gray dwarfs. When I get back, uh, we'll just resume the recording at that point. I'm not even going to mess with these guys, actually. Well... If you insist. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, so here's the thing. Um, I have actually been uh, working very, very long hours uh, the last, uh, pretty much all this past week. Um, so it was actually several days ago uh, when I recorded the first part of this episode. And um, I only had very small windows of opportunity once or twice uh, within the last couple of days to even play at all, let alone record. And so I didn't, I didn't record anything just because here again I didn't want to get started on recording and and not have enough time to really do much with it. Uh, but here's the here's the long and short of it. I have um, let's see, this is the this is the swamp that you saw me in. Um, earlier in this episode, which was again, like for me, like five days ago now in real life. Uh, and as you can see, this is a really tiny swamp and there, there wasn't anything there in terms of, there was no sunken crimp there. And so I, I basically packed up and uh, started sailing uh, up the coast here. I, I found another large village, which I'm pretty sure is a Draugr village, but I didn't get out of my, my vessel to look. And then I came across another much larger swamp and found um, an iron uh, or a sunken crypt more specifically. Oh, and I also found a little plains area too, but I didn't, no way I was going <laughs> to get out over there. Uh, real dangerous. And uh, I, and so I basically found a, a sunken crypt like right near the water. And I have a little bit of footage to show you uh, with me uh, initially setting that up.
Okay, so yeah, we uh, we have that iron mine, and so we're going to spend um, the rest of this episode uh, getting started with iron. Now, as you saw in my uh, my little footage there, I, I did actually pick up a piece of iron or a couple pieces of iron when I killed the oozes. And uh, so I smelted that up, got the iron bar, which we currently have two of, and that unlocked, you know, all of the iron stuff uh, for us. Um, so we have lots of upgrades now, or when it, well, we have more upgrades, I, sh I should say, that we can do, and we can make, you know, all the iron stuff. We have the, we've unlocked it. We can't make it yet, of course, because we don't have all the stuff. Uh, one thing that has occurred to me is that, you know, I, I've had such a struggle against the elite and, you know, and the one star draugers. They just seem so damn tough um, and have killed me many times, as you've seen. Um, and I thought maybe what I might want to try and do with those really tough guys is maybe try a tower shield against them um, and see if we can, you know, make it make that work so they're not kicking our ass so bad. Um, I have plenty of bronze. So I was thinking about maybe making a bronze tower shield. Um, we can make an iron tower shield. Oh, can we not make a bronze tower shield? Hmm, maybe we can't. I thought... Oh, wait a minute. I thought we could. Let's see. Shield. We can make a wood tower shield. Or a bone tower shield. That has a, a 32 block armor and block force. So is this supposed to be the equivalent of what would otherwise be the bronze tower shield? Because I don't see an option for a bronze tower shield in here, just the buckler. I'm thinking maybe that's the situation there. Um, let me... Yeah, whatever. Shut up, Elder. Uh, let's look at something here. Do any of these upgrades require copper? No, that one does not. That's our spice rack, which uh, you guys told me in the comments will allow me to start making the sausages. And then um, uh, we got the stone cutter, which we can we can make. And we got the smith sandal, which requires 20 iron, and the forge tool rack, which requires 15 iron. So those are our new uh, station upgrades. All of them require a subs substantial amount of iron. If we were to attempt to make the iron tower shield, we would need to get eight more pieces, and then we can actually just make that. Um, yeah, I that might be worth our while. Let's go back and see if we can get enough. I guess we would need 16 pieces of iron to smelt eight ingots. Is it a two per one ratio? I think so. So if we could come up with 16 more pieces of iron without running into an elite, um, we could probably make that. And I and I, I don't know. I think that might help my survivability against those big meanies because we're going to run into some of those bastards inside the tomb. Anyway, you know. So I'm thinking... Hey, Seagull in the house. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm thinking maybe that's what we do. Um, to... Okay, so to make this... The spice rack... We would need three turnips. I uh, I harvested my first batch of turnips and then replanted them as turnip seeds. And I'm, I can only assume that they're ready to go. Okay, so that gave us 32 turnip seeds. So let's get those replanted. Um, but we won't have, you know, we'll have to wait for them to grow, of course, before we can do anything more. But once, once we do get them planted, then what we'll do is we'll make the spice rack, which will open up better food for us, which will also help. Okay, so, um, let's just get these guys kind of lined up in a corner here. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, we might as well harvest all of this stuff. Um, I don't 
Uh, well, yeah, let's do the... Yeah, let's harvest... Oh my god. <laughs> I, I want to, you know, get the red mushrooms and the, the dandelion all the way out to this line here. Uh, so let me go back in real quick and see how many more of those I have on hand. And then we'll get out to that tomb. Uh, because I know we're kind of running out of time here. Oh, shoot, I missed a row. All right, what we can do there is we can hold down right alt and change, or is it right control? Yeah, it's right control. And we can change the number of these that we can plant. That's the... Um, Plant easy, I think, mod, which I think just updated. Oh, we're short one. Actually, no, we probably aren't if we reharvest these again. Should be able to get that last one in there. There we go. Okay, so we got a full row of red mushrooms all the way out to the edge of the door here. Uh, now let's do the dandelions. Okay, now if we do right control and that, we can get back to the default four. And looks like that's good. Okay. I don't know if this will be ultimately enough dandelions later on down the road, but if not, we'll expand those. All right, now, um, let's do some, uh, oh. No, we definitely don't have enough to do a full thingy of raspberries. Uh, what about blueberries? We do. Um, okay, so those I'm going to actually keep going over on this side, I think. Come on, man. Why are you doing that to me? Snap correctly. Piss me off. I don't, I don't know why it's doing that. I'm just going to do it loosely. Okay, that takes care of all that. Got a shit ton of yellow mushrooms. Kind of overflowing stuff into that crate there. Just gonna pull that stuff in there for now. Okay, so we've got um, now oh, we're we're kind of low on food, aren't we? Can I make some more deer stew? I sure can. A couple more of those. Um, we can make some more carrot soup. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's good enough for now. We need we need to get going. Uh, let's actually go ahead and I'm gonna go with health. So two things of health and one thing of stamina. And looks like we have full rested buff. Oh, I still have some poison resistance going. And we should be completely repaired. All right, let's go. So I set this to... Um, I put a portal right on top of the of the crypt. So we can just go straight there. All right. Make sure everything is clear in the immediate vicinity. Looks like it is. And this will be our first foray into a sunken crypt. So hopefully we don't run into any elites before we can get enough iron to make ourselves a uh, a tower shield. 
And as usual, we're going to always go left. It's the easiest way to find your way through these places. I mean, you could, you could always go right, too, either way, but you just always go left. Now, one trick here for those of you who might be new to all of this when you're in these trips is you can, you can break through here enough to kind of cheese the enemies without them being able to come in after you. And fire arrows... Oh, she, there's an elite right there. Shit. Okay. Fire arrows are actually pretty effective against these guys uh, because of the fire, obviously. Don't know if I'm actually hitting him. There we go. Yeah, these, uh, I ob definitely do not want to take these guys on without a tower shield. Uh, at least not until we get into iron armor and weapons and stuff. Because my track record with these bastards is not good. <laughs> Try and get him to come over here so I can... Pop him. There we go. It's hard to hit him in the arm. There, got him that time. There, that was a good hit. Come back around the corner, yo. Come on, man. Cooperate here. Got him. Okay. Now, uh, I think that's probably all, all there is in this room because I haven't seen any more pop out and try to get to me. Still can't quite get through there. Okay, so we're clear to go in here. All right, we'll take all of that. Oh, nice, iron arrows. Very nice. Uh, you know what? Uh, we do not need yellow mushrooms. <laughs> We've got so many yellow mushrooms. It's not even funny. So we're going to leave those there. We have some jewels and stuff, which is great. Is there something over there? Nope, guess not. Okay, so let's finish mining the rest of the scrap pile. I think that's it. Okay. So we have 17 pieces of iron. That's enough, right? Because I think we only needed 8... 16 in total to make 8 bars for the tower shield. Uh, I guess... Says there's still a little bit right there. And... I think that's... That is still a little piece in there. It could be another thing of iron for us.
And we can't quite get to it. There's a piece right here. There we go. Hey, we got two iron from that. See, it was worth it was worth trying to do. All right, let's start to pop in. Oh, shit. Um, I guess that's, yeah, I guess that's a dead end. We can't go any further than that. So we are done in this room. Okay, let's start taking some of this out. Okay, that fly buzzing sound is a spawner. Ah, we're already full. Okay. All right. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. Our server owner made the decision to allow uh, portals, uh, allow us to bring metal through portals. That is not a decision I would have made myself, but it's his server and what he wanted to do, and it's the server I'm playing on. And so um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take advantage of it because I can. <laughs> Uh, again, if I was playing this by myself, I would not have done that, but um, I'm just going to take advantage of it because one of the things that's going to do is it's going to allow us to advance more quickly and get to, well, Mistlands and Ashland more quickly than I otherwise would. Uh, incidentally, if I had, did not already tell you guys this, I have never done Mistlands either, so both Mistlands and Ashlands are going to be brand new for me. Uh, so this will just help us get there sooner. So hopefully you guys are cool with that. Um, again, I wouldn't have done that myself, but it's not my server. Um, and I think because it is available to us, I'm just going to take advantage of it. Okay, so let's put the, that stuff in there. Um, uh, we will also pull a decent amount of treasure out of these places too, which we can then go get stuff from Haldor when the time comes. Um, where am I? What am I doing with this stuff? We got a full stack there. I guess I'll put. Oh, I was gonna say, I, I thought I had, an, I had started another stack of that. What's going on out here? I heard somebody tearing something up. I don't know. It's awfully foggy. Okay, so um. Let's go ahead and load these guys up, make enough iron to make ourselves a tower shield. And then I think probably the next thing we want to do is make ourselves a pit, an iron pick, uh, because we're going to need to do so much mining in these, in these places. And I'll keep my, um, oh, there's a boar over there. I'll keep my bronze pick with me too as a backup. Were you messing with my fence? Don't mess with my fence. All right, guys. Um, we have enough iron now to make our iron tower shield. Let's do that right now. Okay. And then um, we can also upgrade it. So let's do it. Okay, so that gets it upgraded to level two. And uh, let's see, for the pickaxe, we need 13 more iron, which I don't have enough of. So we'll have to do that on the next, the next try. Okay, now I don't remember for sure if I have ever used the tower shield in this game. I, I guess you use it in the same way you use the normal shield. It just doesn't have the ability to parry and it slows you down. It makes you go slower. So that being the case, I think what we'll want to do is use the normal shield until, unless we get into trouble, and then we'll use the big tower shield. 
The difference between these uh, two is that this that has a 30 block force and a, tw a block a 28 block armor. So I guess I guess we must have a bonus of 30. So basically, it provides 30 armor and a block force of 30, whereas this provides 61 armor and a block force of 105. Uh, so it's going to make us a lot tougher when we're up against those really big bad, big bad bats. Okay. Let's uh, replenish our rested bonus. We still have five minutes on our food. And we'll go back and do a little bit more mining before we wrap up this episode. Alright, so we got a blob in there. Need him to come back around so I can get a shot off on him. Come at me, bro. Alright, let's um take some more of that away. think he can fit through there. Nice. That's just a normal Draugr, so we're not too worried about him. We'll light him up, though. So yeah, that that's the downside to the tower shield is you can't parry him. And it looks like it uses a little more stamina too. Okay. So what we're going to need to do is break through the rest of this and then quickly take out that uh, spawner. shit. There we go. Okay. Oh, good. This will show us where bone mass is. That's a damn far distance away. It's at least as far away again as we are from our base currently. Hmm. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Oh, nice. We got chains. Okay. So that uh, opens up some new stuff, a new cooking station, and some new crafting upgrades and other cool stuff. Let's get the rest of this stuff. And that's it for there. And we got some treasure. That's it for the treasure. Okay. And this is probably a dead end or... Uh, nope. Wait, is it? Nope, this goes into another room. Any bad bats? Probably not, because usually they show themselves... Just mushrooms in that little area. Looks like uh, we have one little scrap pile right here. All right, there is a normal Draugr. Light him up. 
Just gonna stand there, huh? Okay, let's uh, replenish this stuff. We're up to 29 thingies of iron. Don't know if there's anybody else in there or not. Okay, so we're loaded. Loaded up. Okay, so the next group of bad bats are going to be in there. Okay, let's go drop off this batch. Okay, guys, we have enough uh, iron now to make ourselves a pick. Uh, so that's the next thing we're going to do. And um, looks like that's all the iron we have at the moment to do anything in, in the way of tools. Um, probably the axe is the next thing I'd like to do. But uh, yeah, I don't think I have quite enough with me uh, for that. Okay, so we are now going to put the iron pick in this slot. Just trying to see what its stats are. It has 150 durability versus. Well, this one's this one's upgraded though. So I think. Is it the pierce damage we look at for mining? This has pierce damage of 35. This has pierce damage of 33. It's just because though this one's upgraded to level three. This one's only level one. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. We could... Let's take a look at this. We could make the iron cooking station. Uh, we could make the forge bellows. I just want to check and see if our turnips are done out here. Nope, they still have 28 minutes left. Okay. All right. Well, let's um let's top everything off here, and then we'll take one more trip into the mine uh, for this episode. Oh, that gives us uh that gives us twenty more iron. Uh, that's enough to make the axe. Let's do it. Or maybe we should make the armor actually. The iron mail will give us fourteen armor compared to. this level three upgraded bronze, which only gives us 12 armor. So I think I'm gonna do that just because I'm trying to toughen myself up so I don't get my ass kicked so much. So maybe what we'll do is we'll actually make the iron armor set next. We'll prioritize that next. I think that's what I'll do. And we'll put that in there. We don't need two leather trousers, so let's get rid of one of those. In fact, we don't... Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the tunic, too, because I've got the troll tunic. And... Well, it, it'd be worth it to keep this for the sneak bonus, in case we wanted to do something sneaky at some point. Yeah. Okay, and I do realize the tower shield is heavy and it's limiting my amount of weight, but because we can, you know, use the portal, it's, it's just not that big a deal. If we couldn't use the portal, well, I mean, it wouldn't, it, even then it wouldn't be that big of a deal. It just means one, one or two more trips to the ship, which is right there. So, yeah, anyway, okay. So we got full rest and all right, let's just do, like I said, one more trip into the crypt before we wrap up this episode and then I'm just going to be farming iron for a long time to get all the stuff that we need. Uh, 
I need to remember also to put my helm on before we try and attack something really nasty. Okay, so I think this is where we left off. There's nothing... Sometimes there could be pearls and stuff on those shelves there. Here's another spawner because we can hear the flies. can't. We got another elite. Alright, I want to try something. I'm just going to try and get those guys to swing at us because I want to just see if we can absorb the elite's strike, you know. That's a lot of bad guys. You know, let's light them up. Is he going to die from the fire? Here, let's get the blob. How in the hell did that miss? It didn't miss that time. Alright. Can I, uh... Took a hit there. Okay, so now we just have the elite and the blob left. I'd like to kill the blob if I could. Just because I don't want to get poisoned while we're trying to do the rest of this. Oh. Oh, that... Yeah, he was spawned because of the spawner. Can't quite hit the blob. What the hell, man? Okay, that's a that's not an elite, but it's a one star. They're pretty damn tough too. Should be trying to hit these guys in the head. Alright, let's just take a hit from this guy and see what it does. Oh shit. Okay. Wow! God damn. <laughs> Even with a tower shield. Oh, these guys are insanely tough. I was not expecting with an an upgraded to level 2 iron tower shield that he could still break through and do that much damage to us. That is just flat out scary, man. Okay, well, shit. That's, uh, that's a little disheartening, I have to say. Kill that blob. Because we don't need. Oh shit, we don't need to add poison to the mix here. Well, I should probably take my poison resist too. Wow, I cannot believe how much a normal Draugr's arrow hurts us. We're wearing iron. Uh, iron chest piece too. 
This is ridiculous. Here, let's take that. Okay, we got rid of the archer. Let's get that blob out of there. Okay, good. Got rid of the blob. Now, don't don't we still have an elite in here somewhere? I don't remember killing the elite. I just don't know where he is. Ow! You fucker! Can't get out of the way in time. I need to... I need to roll out of the way. I hate the rolling in this game. I know I complain about it all the time, don't I? It really does suck, though. Having to press three buttons to roll. Not my idea of a good time. Looks like Joe's on. Okay. Got him. Okay. I don't know where that other elite is, but... Oh, shit. That's a new elite. This is tough, man. Let's take a hit from him. He's... I just want to see... I mean, if the one star can break through us, I'm sure the elite can break through our shield. At least I'm assuming an elite's tougher than a one star. Take a strike at me, yo. Kind of borked out in the corner there. There. Okay. So is a one star actually tougher than an elite? Or did that elite just get a lucky hit off on us? This guy's buggy. Alright. Uh, there's another Draugr right on the other side of the thing here. Oh, shit, needs an archer. Okay, let's take some more of this down. We gotta get... We gotta get in here. Oh shit, that's the elite. Can, can he come in here? Can he not come in here? Oh, he's still blocked. Look at that. Okay. Hit me. Alright, that's... That's way better than what was happening with the one star. Oh, way better. Okay. Just got to watch our stamina here. He's still so hard to kill, though. Okay, get in here and get rid of this quick. Oh, I don't have any fucking stamina. Okay. No! It's an elite! Oh. 
Wow. I should... Fuck. I should have gotten back out of there while I had the chance. That's what I should have done. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so the tower shield... Uh, is definitely effective against the elite, but the one stars... I don't understand why a one star would be tougher than an elite. Unless he just got like a lucky crit off on us or something. I mean, that's possibly what happened. Oh shit. Okay. Um We're just going to try and ninja it because if I die again, I don't want to lose more gear and more food buff. We're just going to see if we can ninja it out of there really quick. That is really unfortunate, though. But I ran in there without enough stamina, which is my fault. I should have checked that first, obviously. And yeah, so it didn't go well for us. Thank goodness, though, they they can't get through that little hole there. Oh, how's this going to work? Oh, man. How in the hell am I going to do this, you guys? Like that. Whew. Okay. Oh, and I did forget to put my helmet on too, so that that wasn't helping at all. Uh, that stuff's all in the right spot. Put you down there. Put you down there. You down there. Okay. Let's also do this. So let's soften this guy up, try and get rid of him, and then we gotta run in and get that that spawner out of there as quickly as possible. Uh, I hit it several times, so it's really close to breaking, I'm sure. Okay. Brutal. Break. Please break. For the love of God. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> okay. That was rough. That was rough, but uh, we got it done. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's pick up all the spoils of war here. Here, I'm going to put this back on. Hopefully I remember to put the other back on like I, you know, I didn't that time. So that was not helping us at all. But anyways, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments. Are one stars actually tougher than elites? Or did I just, did he just get a lucky crit off on me or something? I don't know, man. I don't know the answer to that. We're still, uh, somewhere... I still I saw uh, right right there. There we go, and we got a scrap iron out of it. That's why it's worth doing. All right, you guys. Well, um, I think we're gonna wrap up this episode here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go through this tomb and pull every last piece of iron out of here, all the treasure, kill all the bad guys, and um, make as much iron stuff as possible. And when I bring you back in the next episode, we should be um, well on our way into iron at that point. Uh, I do want to show you one other thing, too, before I let you go. Let's get the rest of that. Uh, we have 23 pieces right there. So I think that's it for this room. But it's certainly not it for the tomb. Looks like another piece there, but it's not. Okay, let's come through here.
Oh, have we been in here? Oh yeah, we have been in here. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We swam down in there and that was a dead end. So we still have, you know, this passage to do and this passage to do. But what I wanted to show you is that if we look out across the way here, there's two more crypts right over there, those two green lights. So as soon as I finish this crypt, then of course we're just going to move over and do... Actually, that one might be one of those altar things. That The one on the left is definitely another crypt. I'm not sure about the one on the right, but it, nevertheless, as soon as I finish clearing this crypt out, I will go do those and, you know, again, just get as much iron as possible. And then we have, uh, you know, a lot more swamp here to explore as well. Uh, so when I feel like, you know, we're far enough along to warrant the start of the next episode, we'll start the next episode. But thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.